Yo, what's up guys? It is Gong Master here. How's it been doing? Hope everyone's having a beautiful day. So welcome to some Skate 3. So I was debating on whether or not I wanted to make this a story time. And I decided, you know what? If I'm going to make this a story time, I might as well do this on Skate 3, right? I love Skate 3. Jesus! So I don't really think this is exactly much of a story. Well, I guess if anything, it's more of a story of my life. Story about my life or something like that. But anyway, this video is about my nicotine addiction, uh, how it formed, how bad it got, and you know, just stuff like that. So all of this started out when I was pretty young. I believe I was about the age of five or six, maybe. Everyone in my family smoked. So getting my hands on cigarettes, it wasn't exactly anything difficult. I was about five or six when I had my first cigarette. I just stole a pack of cigarettes from my dad and I decided to just start smoking them. And sure enough, almost instantly, I just fell in love with them. Hell, I was even starting to steal them from places like gas stations, supermarkets. I was stealing cigarettes, lighters, those little gas station cigars. I was stealing dip, chewing tobacco. Ever since I was young, I always had a pack of cigarettes on me. Whether I took it from my dad or I just straight up stole it. Then when I was about 16 or 17, uh, I found this gas station that I was able to go to and he would actually sell me vapes underage. Oh my Jesus, what in the hell? He told me the one thing that he wouldn't ever sell to me underage would be alcohol. Quite frankly, I was okay with it. I wasn't big on drinking back then. And a few weeks later, I found this vape shop that would sell to me underage. He would sell to me underage because he was actually a friend of mine. And this went on up until I turned 18 in January. So now I was the legal age to start buying tobacco. So I actually stopped going to that vape shop because I found another vape shop with a lot cheaper prices. Then I actually started getting into dipping a bit more. One thing I forgot to mention was when I turned 18, my parents knew that I was big into smoking, dipping, vaping. So they set down a few rules and the rules were number one, I could not smoke or vape inside the house. No matter what time of day, no matter what the weather is, if I wanted a smoke or vape, I had to go outside. If I was dipping, I could not spit around them, I could not spit on the floor, they could not see me spit, they could not hear me spit, they could not smell the spit or else I got in trouble. Poggers. Dude, what the fuck? But their biggest rule of all, you cannot smoke or vape or dip or do anything like that in school. It's like, okay, I mean, I didn't even do it at all in school anyway. What my friends and I would do is we would go off campus because at my high school, uh, we could go off campus for lunch. So for lunch, if you wanted McDonald's, you could just go get fucking McDonald's. They didn't care as long as you got back uh, before lunch ended. My friends and I, we would just go across the street and just smoke, vape, you know, all that stuff. Because we just said, fuck it. We just went just across the street and vaped. The school police officer would just stand not even 15 feet away from us on the other side of the street just watching us. And like, we would actually have discussions with him. Remember, we weren't on school grounds. What could he do about it? I never vaped in school. Keyword, I never vaped in school. Once I was 18, I started getting into chewing. In fact, on my 18th birthday, the morning of my birthday, before school, I went over to the gas station. I picked up a can of uh, Camel Snooze and a can of Copenhagen Mint. I had some Copenhagen on the way to school, 
And what I would start doing is, since it was starting to get difficult to vape in school, I would use a camel snooze because it came in little uh, pouches, uh, bandits, I believe they're called. And you would just take one, put it all the way back here. You couldn't see them, you couldn't smell them. It's not like chewing, where you just have this big ass bulge in your mouth, like. And one of the better things about it is you didn't have to spit. You could just swallow the saliva. Granted, obviously at first it was pretty difficult because remember, it's just pure tobacco and nicotine. So I remember when I first started swallowing the spit, Oh, I would get massive heartburns. It would burn my throat. It would burn my chest. But after a while, it started getting easier and easier. So I just decided, you know what? In school, I'll go with the pouches. And outside of school, I'll vape. There you go. And I don't, and I don't want y'all to think that I, oh, I was always doing these pouches every day in school. It's like, no, not really. Really, the only time I did the pouches was when I had a test or I was just stressing the hell out in a class. Like, oh, I'm in the middle of taking a test. Oh, I'm getting so stressed out because, oh, I'm so worried. I don't, I don't think I'm going to do good on this test. Hey, teacher, I need to go to the bathroom. I'd go into the bathroom, get out my can, open it up, put a pouch in, head back into class. Granted, I still obviously failed the test, but <laughs> it helped take some of the nerve off. In May of 2018, my father would unfortunately pass away. His death hit me hard. I stopped dipping, I stopped vaping, and I went straight back to smoking. I remember my family and I went up to hospice because he was in hospice before he died. So we were all up at hospice. We were talking with the nurse like, yeah, you know, what do you want us to do with this body? Do you all have any special arrangements? You know, this is what we can do. And I remember uh, later that night, I went to a gas station and I bought a whole carton of Marlboro Lights, which was my favorite cigarette. A carton? comes with 20 packs of cigarettes. I went through that carton in about two weeks. Two weeks is 14 days. Each carton has 20 packs of cigarettes. I remember I averaged about a pack a day when my dad died. I smoked at least one pack a day. Some days hit harder than others. Some days I did like a pack and a half, a pack and a quarter. But I do remember going through a whole carton in about two weeks. The next month, in June of 2018, I graduated high school and I got a job in this newspaper warehouse. I was still smoking, but I really cut back on it. I was still mourning the loss of my father. So I was still smoking about four or five cigarettes a day. I started working at the warehouse and in the warehouse, you couldn't vape, you couldn't smoke, you couldn't dip. But that didn't stop everyone from dipping. Obviously, you couldn't let the manager see you blowing a fucking cloud in the middle of the warehouse. So a lot of people who... That scared the shit out of me. As I was saying, a lot of people who were addicted to nicotine, they switched to dipping because it was less traceable especially by using the pouches that I was talking about earlier. So what did I do? Well, I was able to cut back on smoking even more. And it was actually at this time that I did get a jewel. And I got a few cans of those um, camel snooze things that I was telling y'all about. And I would spend most of the days in the warehouse using these little pouches. Granted, yeah, now I had my jewel on me. So sometimes the pouches just wouldn't cut it. Like maybe I was just like, oh, maybe my manager said something to me or, oh, I'm going to have to stay late. Remember with this warehouse job, I was working from 4 p.m. to about two in the morning. So I wouldn't be getting home until like three 
Shit, sometimes even four in the morning if we had to stay late. The boss man would say, Oh, Gallagher, you're staying late tonight. We're behind on production. You're staying late. <sighs> so I'd bitch and moan. I'd hit my drool a few times. And I'd just suffer through it. So from about September to February, in February of 2019, I got a new job working in this vape shop that I liked. Obviously, if you work in a vape shop, you start vaping. So I was able to cut out dipping completely. I was able to really cut back even more on smoking. And I got back into vaping. I never really completely cut out cigarettes. But it got to the point where I would smoke like maybe two or three cigarettes a week, maybe. Because think about it, now I'm in a vape shop. I get discounts, I get 30% discounts on all devices. I get a free bottle of vape juice every single week. Why the hell would I want to start dipping again? Why the hell would I want to continue smoking? Like, no, I'm not going to do that. And then around April of 2019, I went one whole month without smoking a single cigarette. But unfortunately, I developed a pretty crippling addiction to vaping. Oh my god, vaping was burning holes in my wallet left and right. I couldn't go more than 30 seconds without needing to hit my vape. I was vaping high strengths of nicotine. It was starting to get out of hand. Then in November of 2019, I would end up meeting my current girlfriend, Zodiac. And mid-December, I quit my job at the vape shop. And I told her, babe, I'm going to start working on quitting nicotine. And ever since then, I've been constantly struggling to cut out nicotine. A few times I fell off the wagon. The longest I went was about two or three weeks. Then I would relapse pretty bad or something. But then ever since we moved to Florida, I've actually been using uh, this nicotine gum. And even then, I only used the nicotine gum whenever I really needed it. But for the most part, I've been able to cut it out. My biggest regret in my whole entire life. I wish I never had my first cigarette. That will do it for this video, y'all. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Gong Master. And I will see you all in the next video. Take it easy, y'all.